What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive. And of course, Paid to Drive Vlogs coming at you with a new video here. And uh, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That's right, everybody. Get started right now for free hit that red subscribe button tap that bell so you're always notified when i post something new and of course hit that like button down below everybody simple as that simple as pie all right all right so hit that like button just lets youtube know i'm doing a good job all right no emails today no articles just something that i saw all right so i forget i want to say at least a week or two ago. And I don't know why it's taking me so long to do this, but I was on the Uber Eats app itself, looking to get something for dinner for my girlfriend and myself. And as I was looking through, something caught my eye through the restaurants. And I was like, am I seeing this correctly? I don't know if you knew this, but for those of you who are on Uber Eats, and if you're not, click the link in the description, sign up right now today so you can diversify in case DoorDash is slow. Uber Eats is now doing floral slash flower delivery. Yeah, that's right. Now, I'm sure some people are like, oh no, I don't wanna deliver flowers. But then there are other people that are like, hell yeah, that's fantastic. Because think of this, I myself have never picked up an Uber Eats flower delivery, but think of it this way. The arrangements are probably going to be made ahead of time. I don't think it's gonna be like flowers on demand, you know, and even if it is, for them to put together a floral arrangement is not like they have to go and cook food in a, in a kitchen. I actually really like the fact that these companies like DoorDash and Uber Eats and Grubhub are starting to branch out now. I've also noticed on Uber Eats that they have specific just alcohol delivery. Yes, that's been a thing for a while now, but there are literally just places for alcohol, like, you know, a liquor store or something of, of those, of, you know, around that nature. Um, whereas alcohol was available through a restaurant. It's not like where a liquor store uh, was on there previously. I mean, this is a, a newer thing in most markets. Some markets have had it for a while now, but the floral slash flower delivery is something that is relatively new. Now, I'm just curious out there, anyone in the chat or anyone in the comments, have any of you done an Uber Eats flower delivery? And a couple of questions I have for you is, how did it go? What kind of payouts are we looking out, looking at? And were the customers nice about it? You know, because here's the thing. Sometimes when people get flowers, I feel like most times, it could be just an out of the blue thing or they're not expecting it where you're delivering it to their job. You know, I've, I, you know, I have sent flowers to my girlfriend's job before and, and you know, girlfriends before her uh, using like 1-800-Flowers, you know, and it's always, it's always a nice pleasant call or text message when you send one of those. So 1-800-Flowers may have uh, you know, a good run for their money if the delivery apps start getting on this. Now, listen to this. What if you have the option <coughs> to like do a catering for like a whole party or something? Like what if you have a van or a truck or something and you can bring all the flowers for that? What if it's, you know, a funeral or a wake or something and you bring flower arrangements for that? There could be big money in this, okay? I, you know, you guys always say that I'm too negative. Well, hey, I'm trying to be optimistic here that now it's going beyond food. You know, if anything, the pandemic really showed us how, you know, crucial these delivery jobs really are, that we are willing to go out there and brave, you know, viruses and bad weather and stuff to get people the goods they need, whether it be food, whether it be flowers, whether it be just, you know, toiletries and things they need or medicine or medication, you know, or, or anything like that. So in my opinion, I think this is a good idea. I do, I like that they are branching out. Because here's the thing, if you don't wanna take that kind of an order, you just decline it, you just reject it, you know? Simple as that. So it's really not something to get all angry about. It's If anything, you're like, oh, there's more opportunities. 
you know, Dino from saying it like it is not too long ago made a video saying, oh, well, what, 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 what if I got to go pick up a BMW from a dealership and drive it to the customer for five dollars? You know, I know he was joking around, but who knows? Who knows? Maybe that could be a reason of being a top dasher. You get to drive, you know, people's new cars to their homes, like a Carvana kind of a thing. <clears throat> who knows? Okay. But the point is, this provides new and, you know, perhaps maybe more lucrative, uh, you know, delivery options for us as drivers. So Uber, Uber Eats, I tip my hat to you uh, for, for, you know, taking a chance with this. We'll see what happens and see where it goes. But yes, if anybody here has done any flower delivery, please let me know down below in the comments or in the chat. Send me an email. Let me know what your experience was like. All right. And if you guys ever want to send me anything for a video, topic, whatever, email it to pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or you can message me through the Patreon app. Sign up down below. Link is in the description or in the pinned top comment. And as another perk, uh, I will also shout you out in all new videos as well. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. So we've got Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Heidi Barnes, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Helen G. Van Horn, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilan, <coughs> excuse me, Fresh One, Jason Kesa, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and v -V Valerie Brown. That's right, everybody. Very cool, man. So sign up down below if you haven't yet. And also link in the description for the free gas app called Get Upside. Have you signed up on there yet? You probably haven't. But you, you've been thinking about it. Stop procrastinating. It takes two seconds. Click the link down below. Any smartphone will do. All you do is this. It's very simple. You go to pump your gas, uh, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt, with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside, links down below. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you wanna get one of these all right, all right shirts, very simple. Go to paytodrivestore.com. Everything is on sale, really great quality stuff. Um, different designs, different colors, sizes, everything you need, paytodrivestore.com, links down below, check it out. And if you made it to the end of this video, you know what to do, comment END728, END728, simple as that, all right? And uh, hit that free red subscribe button down below, turn on all notifications so you always get notified every time I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below, real nice now. And that's all I got for you, everybody. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. Until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. Be well, drive safe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.